Hello everyone and welcome to my BFA quick start guide series where I explain to you all of the things you need to know in a quick and easy to understand video. In this one we are going to talk about all of the changes made to the Fury Warrior. The video will be separated into three different segments. Changes made to base on abilities, spells and mechanics. Followed by me showing you the different talent builds. And the third segment where we'll, we'll talk about the different rotations. At the end of the video there will be some bonus content for the people who are still interested in getting the most out of their Fury Warrior during the pre-patch. But don't worry, this guide should still be valid once you do reach level 120. Okay, so the Fury Warrior saw some big improvements going into BFA, although this is mainly thanks to the GCD changes, and because of that we are no longer able to stack a bunch of offensive cooldowns. Hence to the fact why talents like Bloodbath and Avatar have been removed, Fury Warrior is probably one of the most fast-paced classes that you can currently play. Let's start with the first part of the video. Recklessness is our old battle cry and rallying cry is our old commanding shout. They are both on the global cooldown, together with again charge, but only having one offensive cooldown on the GCD is again hardly noticeable. As Fury, you are no longer taking increased damage while enraged, and this also reflects in our health, no longer being way higher than all of the other classes. Taking melee damage now generates 3 rage, and overall our rage generation from all of our attacks has been increased. Going over the changes made to baseline abilities, like the Arms Warrior, we again have Battle Shout as our party and raid buff. Bladestorm got changed and now deals its damage faster, which is really nice. Bloodthirst now has a 30% chance to trigger Enrage and is no longer crit based. Enrage got changed and now increases your haste by 25% and movement speed by 10% for 4 seconds. Unlike the Arms Warrior, Execute isn't a rage dumping ability, but it now generates rage and is on a 6 second cooldown. Raging Blow now has 2 charges and a 20% chance to reset its own cooldown. On top of that, it can be used without enrage. Whirlwind works as a rage generator and as a Fury Warrior, Whirlwind is used to make your next 2 single target abilities cleave to up to 4 targets, Execute included. Whirlwind is now used as your filler when you decide to not take Furious Slash. Next up are the 3 different talent builds. We again have our World Content Leveling and Questing build, Tier 15 Fresh Meat or a War Machine, but I prefer a War Machine, Tier 30 Double Time, Tier 45 Sudden Death, Tier 60 Bounding Stride, Tier 75 Carnage, Tier 90 Dragon's Roar, and Tier 100 Reckless Abandon. Like with the Arms Warrior, the idea behind this build is to make the combat as fast and as smooth as possible. Next we have our Mythic Plus Dungeon build. War Machine, Double Time or Stormbolt for that stun. Sudden Death, War Paint or Bounding Stride. Carnage or Frothing Berserker. Bladestorm or Dragon's Roar. And Anger Management. During a Mythic Plus, we are of course trying to burst down those trash packs as fast as possible and doing this for each and every pack that crosses our path. Here you can take the Frothing Berserker Bladestorm combination or the Dragon's Roar Carnage combination, depending on how big the trash groups are. Last but not least, our single target build, Endless Rage, Double Time, Furious Slash, damn when you take this talent you better turn off your game sound, War Paint or Bounding Stride, Carnage, Dragon's Roar or Bladestorm, and Anger Management. Okay, so rotation wise, the Fury Warrior is fairly simple and we kind of work with a priority list and not a fixed set rotation. Also, our single target and multi target rotation remains almost the exact same, as the only thing that changes is keeping up the Whirlwind buff to make our single target attacks cleave. When playing the Fury Warrior, you will notice very fast that there is a certain way the spec is meant to be played. Ok, let's start with the single target one first. So we want to charge in, use Fury Slash when talented, Recklessness, either on cooldown or when we need the burst, Siege Breaker when talented, you can choose to use this during Recklessness or in between Recklessness windows, depending on the situation. Then of course using Rampage becomes a big priority as this will activate our Enrage. Next when talented in Sudden Death we always want to use our Execute during Enrage, followed by using our Raging Blow. Then we can use a Bloodthirst, which will hopefully activate Enrage again, so we can use our Dragon Roar or Blade Storm during Enrage. Next we use our Raging Blow for Rage, and we finish it off by using our Furious Slash as our filler. 
Be sure to keep an eye out for your Furia Slash buff. Unlike the Arms Warrior, nothing really changes when we go into the Execute phase. Like I said, this is a priority list, so of course when you reached 95 Rage, you should always use your Rampage, as the worst thing you can do as a Fury Warrior is capping Rage. Here are a few rules, what ifs and things you have to be aware of when following this priority rotation for single target fights. First, use Recklessness whenever it's available. Keep an eye out for your Furious Slash buff and refresh when needed. Use Rampage whenever it's available, as you never want to cap Rage. Use Execute when you are enraged. Using Raging Blows to build up Rage. And Bloodthirst once your Enrage from your Rampage runs out to hopefully extend your Enrage. Last but not least, use your Bladesome or Dragon's Roar during Enrage and use Furious Slash as your filler. As for our multi-target Mythic Plus rotation, the key here is to refresh our Whirlwind buff to make it so our next two single target attacks are always cleaving. This means that we charge in, activate Recklessness and use of course Whirlwind, Siegebreaker when talented and a Rampage. After that we use our Bladestorm or Dragon's Roar during the Enrage window and finish it off with a Whirlwind to make your next two single target attacks cleave. After that we then follow the single target priority rotation. The key in maximizing your AoE multi-target damage is to always prioritize Whirlwind to get that two single target attack cleave buff. This is by far the most important part of the rotation. Last but not least, the bonus content. Here we'll just go over the things you can do to maximize your damage in the pre-patch for those of you who are still interested in doing mythic pluses and raids. As most classes, playing with the tier 21 force set is a given, and for our best in slot legendaries, the legendary head and the legendary rampage pants are by far the strongest choices, and combining these two will make the damage of your fury warrior go through the roof. I really recommend getting this combination, although me myself, I don't have them. Of course, Soul of the Battlelord and the Execute Ring are third and the fourth best option, but because you can choose Sudden Death as a talent and getting Massacre as a second talent isn't that good anymore, I'm just mentioning them, but do be aware that the pants and the head are still best in slots. Personally, I really liked and enjoyed playing the Fury Warrior. It's such an insane fast-paced class that your fingers will be sore after a couple of hours of playing. Something your girlfriend might not like, if you know what I mean. And that is again it ladies and gentlemen, please do be aware that this is still kind of a basic guide just for the people that want to catch up with their class in a quick and easy fashion. Don't worry about the finding my perfect main videos, I'm creating them as we speak. Like the video if you liked it and put any comments in the comment section down below. Of course don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more wow videos. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time.